Hello all. Um, I'm really sorry that I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, it's just that I sold my laptop and then my phone broke so I had to buy a really cheap replacement phone and um, you know the camera on it is really bad and um, it's also really really slow so it's hard to definitely really slow um, and hard to edit videos and upload them to YouTube. So. Um, I do apologize for that. My upgrade will be on the 22nd, so I should be getting a phone, um, a, a better phone by next week. Um, also, sorry for this camera quality. I am trying to get my Logitech to work, but I just plugged it into this computer, and when it went to install the software, it, um, there was an error, so it's not working right now. Um, and yeah, um, so I shaved my head because it's, I fucked it up and it's almost summertime anyways and honestly like, it's, like I have really thick hair and it's like, I have to brush it, I have to brush it at least twice a day and I have to, I have to like, you know, keep at it a lot, brush it twice a day at least and brush it fully as well as like shampoo it and then condition it but not condition it too much but I still have to condition it every day. Um, shampoo and condition it like almost every day because it, it gets so greasy so um yeah I shaved it and it's fucked up right now so I've been wearing this turban I also have a wig that I that I wear but I decided to wear the turban instead um you know I, I like the look I can't wait for it to grow out at least a little bit and be a pixie so I can style it like a cute little pixie like, like I've always done and um just yeah, um, that's about up to date on, I'm, I'm wearing clothes today that my aunt just gave me today. She gave me this necklace, she gave me this necklace, and she gave me this shirt, it's from World Markets, and it has pretty roses on it. Um, and yeah, you know, I'm having a very great day today. It's very relaxing. Um, the weather is very nice. It's about 80 degrees right now, and there's a spring breeze. There's an ocean breeze. Um, that's really cool, and I feel amazing. Like, I'm just, like, out beyond my own depression and issues. Like, this day has me feeling very happy, um, very calm, you know, just loving life right now like it's awesome and um but you know I still struggle with depression and I also am just really like upset about you know a lot of the things that are happening around the world and then the fact that like it seems like the world is ending like literally um so it's like really um yeah <laughs> anyways um, and that's what I wanted to talk about in today's video. Well, I just had a question. Okay, so my question is, is, um, to all of my foreign followers, um, what does America look like to other countries? Because honestly, when I try to think about, um, what the outside perspective would be based on, on our history and the fact that we maintain global dom dominance and have the world's largest military, um, you know, like, like, what do other countries, like, think of us? Like, like, I, I'm just, I'm just wondering, and, um, it's because, like, yeah, just the way that we have, we, we, it's founded on top of genocided, stolen land, and then, um, you know, that's, that's how, you know, people specifically w from Western Europe became um, even more so of a leading, world leading power, um, Anglo-Saxons, British Anglo-Saxons are like the elites or something, and it's like, that's, like, how does, how do, how do people outside of the world see that? Because that's just like, like really like this brace of people like dominates the whole world like wow like these people of all people you know and it's just like a, a shit show it's like 
it, it feels so it feels so animalistic and it feels like um i feel i don't even feel like a, a, like a you know like an evolved human i feel like an animal and um if if i was really like living in, in a world of, with evolved pe people then it, there would be there would be all this dysfunction in the world um and pain and suffering so it's so that's that's how I feel about it. Um, it's just like looking at an animal that's different from you. Of course, it's like ugly to you too. You know, like fuck. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, when I when I traveled to Seattle, I really um, got a really good perspective on. You know, at least it like really opened up my perspective to think about what people outside of America think of America. Um, you know, I've learned a lot of things just from talking to people. I've learned about conspiracy theories being a right-wing tactic. Um, this is how fascism starts. It's with conspiracies that manipulate you into right-wing thoughts. Um, and I honestly had fallen for a few of these conspiracies. Like, it's literally fucking normal, practically, or at least it was. I hope things have changed. I hope things have changed because it was, like, almost like it seemed normal. And, like, you're the stupid, like, dumb one if you don't believe it or something, you know? It's just like, wow. Um, and, and, and it's people who really think that they're, like, that they're, like, onto something. They're, like, fake woke off of conspiracy. Um, that's, the, that's what got it for me is because I really thought I was, like, onto something um, whenever I did believe in conspiracy. And I was the guy that was wanting to, you know alleviate the situation or whatever but um no like i i was like, being manipulated into right wing thought somehow like it's crazy how that works but yeah and um you know so it just makes me wonder like where like where do i even live right now like what like where am i you know it's kind of like that feeling at this point and you know who knows what will happen next you know so yeah, um, just, yeah, to further, um, elaborate in the next video, I'm going to respond to your comments and let me know what your perception of America is, if, if I do get any comments, but, um, that's about all, that's about, like, the main subject is something that I've been thinking about, um, recently, especially after the Notre Dame, um, cathedral was burnt down because after you know that got a lot of news attention and it seems like to a lot of people that they're like more newsworthy um things that are happening that don't get as much attention or grief from people as the burning of the church of the notre dame did and um that's why like yeah um what was I going on about? Yeah, um, so, so it got me thinking all about, like, you know, you know, the way that they maintain their dominance, like, obviously, like, their powers at play here that, that manipulates, um, you know, the media itself, possibly, which, I mean, I don't hate the media, I just, um, obviously still, even, even, um, the, the liberal party is, um, so all about like Western European dominance. So, um, and, and that's why we focus so much on, you know, tragedies that happen in Paris and London, um, because um, they're like, they're like the dominant um, people of the world, or at least, America, but also the world still, you know, world news, CNN, so yeah.